Hey everybody, it's time for Facebook Friday, except today is Thursday. So I'm coming to you a day early. Hopefully you guys will be able to find me. Let's see if I can open this up, find you guys. My kids have the day off tomorrow. And so it is just <laughs> a lot easier for me to do this when they're not here. All right, so of course my iPad wants to do something weird. Come on, I had it open and now it's not opening. Hope you guys are having a good week. It's very strange weather here today. And this whole week, really, it's been very odd. Today it's cold, I've got a sweater on. I don't know, it's very weird. I was wearing shorts two days ago. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, something is going on. Why is this doing this? I don't know. What do they always say when it's not working? Turn it off and turn it back on, right? Restart it. So let's see if I can do that real quick. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I don't know how to turn my iPad off. There we go. All right. Oh, hello, Antoinette. It's good to see you. Oh, wow. All right, good. I'm glad you guys are finding me. Today, we are going to be playing with that, and I keep wanting to call it Flirty Flamingo, but it's Friendly Flamingo. <laughs> so if you hear me say Flirty Flamingo, you know that I mean Friendly Flamingo. We have a color called Flirty Flamingo, and so it's very hard to keep the two apart. But I have some really fun things planned for you. Let's see if I can get this iPad on. I wanna show you guys um, product shares. As you know, this catalog right here is going live in about 11, 10 days, yay, um, May 4th. And every time there's a new catalog, I do something called a paper share and a ribbon share. And it's a great way to get a yard of ribbon of all the new ribbons, so one yard of all the new ribbons. Um, and then the paper share is either half a sheet or a quarter sheet of all the new pieces. So I have that ready to go. Um, we were not able to, there, finally it's opening. We were not able to order, pre-order all of the, whoa, that almost went down. Um, <laughs> Carla just called the Flamingo. That is what I have been calling it, the Flamingo. Um, we were not able to pre-order the um, all the papers. I don't have it all to show you, but hopefully you guys have gotten a uh, catalog and you've been able to see it. And I know lots of you have been asking me about the shares. So they are ready and I'm going to show them to you. I can't show you the inside of the catalog. That's against the rules. Uh, but I'm going to flip you guys down and I'm going to kind of flip through some of these papers so that you can see them. All right, so hold on. Uh, Pepper is currently having a frozen Kong. That's what I've been giving them during my Facebook lives. Yes, Pepper is our puppy. And well, she's about, I don't know, 16 months now, 14 months, 14, she was, yeah, 16 months. Um, so she's not really a puppy. I mean, I guess that's still, she acts like a puppy. Um, she loves twine and she eats my twine and I cannot figure out where she's getting it. And today I caught her pulling it, whoa, pulling it right out of my drawer. And those, some of you were asking, did she open the drawer? No, she did not open the drawer. I had it open like about this much, which I guess is how she's been getting it. <laughs> you know? All right, all right, all right. Nothing else fall. Damn, I got a lot of stuff in here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna show you this paper. This is just some of the paper in the share. Um, I think it's like 78 sheets um, all together that you'll get in the share. And uh, this one is really pretty, this watercolor. And you can decide if you want six by six, which would be a quarter sheet, or six by 12. I know scrapbookers a lot of times want the six by 12. And sometimes card makers, because they just want more than just a quarter sheet. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Um, oh, Nancy, you had a border collie named Pepper. Boy, we went through many names before we finally all agreed on Pepper. Um, but anyhow, you can get six by six, or six by 12, aren't these pretty? Um, I don't know for sure, but typically we have an, um, an artist that paints these that look like they're painted. She paints them and then Stampin' Up! turns them into paper. I'm sure that is one of her designs. 
Um, the Pansy Patch, this is what's going to be Club Create next month. Um, look at this. It has three different ginghams in it. This is uh, their, the new in colors. This is Soft Succulent. And then we have Fresh Freesia. I'm going to turn the fan off. I can see that it's kind of shaking the camera. Hot, cold, hot, cold. <laughs> I'm never fully satisfied. And then there's that one. That's Calypso Coral. This one matches the dyes. You can stamp the pansies or you can cut them out from your paper, which is nice. That one's pretty. That's got that evening evergreen color in it. That one's really pretty too. And then this is pale papaya. Now this is another set of paper. Hand pinned, is that what it's called? I don't know the names yet, you guys. It'll take me a while to learn all the names. But this was real pretty too. This looks watercolored as well. Soft colors, real subtle. Flipping through quickly so we don't spend too much time. I just want you guys to get an idea for what the papers look like. Isn't that beautiful? Now this one is different. It's black and metallic, gold, copper or something. I don't know. It's, some of it has that, you know, like a foil in it. And then some of it does not. There's one. You can see the shine. Uh, Peggy, you love that pansy set? Yeah, it's going to be very popular, I'm sure. You know what? No, that's right. I have all these, hopefully, flipped so that I can just, I just have to show you one side. Look at that one. Whoa, that's copper, I think. Copper and gold. Mac, where, where did your, where did your Kong ball go? Huh? You already gave up on it? All right. Now, let me see. Are we down to the end? Yes. Okay. Now, this paper in my opinion, is the best paper in the whole catalog. But you can't buy it. The only way you can get it is to earn it for free with a $150 purchase um, or higher. So either you host a workshop and you collect orders that are over altogether over 150 or you put in an order that's over 150. It's a huge stack. I believe there are four sheets of each pattern. Let's see. There, uh, one side is black and white. And the other side are brights. Look at this. Isn't this cute? These are my favorite. So, so cute. All right, let me run through these real quick. I love monochromatic. These all where they're just one color, a good stripe. Looks like flirty flamingo. And a cheetah print. What is that? Giraffe print? I can't tell. It's pink, so it's not really anything, I guess. <laughs> and then we've got another rainbow. And then just, I don't know, little pattern. Little flowers. More rainbow. And then, which is this on the back? Hello. Remember how I said, don't worry, because our buffalo check stamp is retiring? But we have paper that's black and white buffalo check. Um, Carol, $18 in Stampin' Rewards, I believe. I don't know. Is it 18? But you can't, you can't buy it. Let me open the catalog and just double check for you. Um, yeah, 18 Stampin' Rewards dollars. So when you get to 150, you start earning Stampin' Rewards, 10%, 12%, whatever, 14% as you go up. And those dollars can be spent on anything in the catalog, um, including these. And that's the only way you can get these. So these have the black and white on the other side. I can see myself using this stuff a ton. But if you, this won't be included in the regular paper share, but if you get both the paper share and the ribbon share, love that one, then you will get a share of this in whatever size paper that you order, okay? All right, now here's a caveat on the paper share. I usually try to close it right when the catalog goes live so I can order it the first day and have it out to you super quick. But I'm going to be on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip from May 15th through the 25th. So what I'm going to do is extend the ordering deadline through May 13th. I will order all of it May 14th and by the time I get back on May 25th it'll all be here and then it'll take me another two weeks at least to cut, sort, and pack. So I'm expecting my paper and ribbon shares to ship um, 
maybe the first or se probably the second week of June. So it's a little bit later than usual, okay? All right, let's move all of this. And the other thing that is, you oh, I didn't show you this. Here's the ribbon. I don't have all the ribbons, but this is the in color ribbon. Isn't that pretty? Uh, let's see if I can name them. Polished Pink, Pale Papaya, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Fresh Freesia. Very pretty. They're like a, like a sheer ribbon. Okay, so the other thing that you can sign up for right now is the In Color Club. Um, each month, for five months, you'll get a color kit. One month, you'll get Pale pa Papaya. One month, you'll get Soft Succulent, and so on. You'll get cardstock ink pad, ink refill, ribbon, stamp and blends, designer series paper, embellishments. Did I say ribbon? Mm, what else? Cardstock. I can't think. All the things. If it is in the catalog and it's in, oh, the bags, little gift bags, and it's in color, that will come in your kit that month. So by the end, by what is it, September, you'll have everything in all five colors. Um, each month, you're also going to get a free embellishment on top of that as a thank you from me. Um, I take the stamp and rewards that I earn from putting in those orders for your kits and I split it among all of you and order you an embellishment. So it's kind of like a, you know, like a group, <laughs> a group order. Um, and then you're going to get a free embellishment every month. So if you would like to sign up for this, you have until April 30th. I will close this on April 30th. So May 1st, I can start working on invoicing. Um, the invoice will come to you um, on the first of every month. Pricing and ordering links, all of that. Actually, you just there's just a sign up link. All of that is on today's blog post as well as today's PDF if you're interested in that. But you only have until April 30th. Now, another thing you quick deadline right now is my Dragonfly Garden class. Um, if you would like this card class, the deadline is Monday. And let's see, some of them use a touch of ink. If you have that stamp set, if not, you can substitute the dragonfly, of course. Um, I had some extras of these um, to give to you guys. Uh, the first, however many people signed up, got them, but they're already all gone now. Um, but anyway, these are what the cards look like. Uh-oh, they're really cute. I like the colors. They feel very springy. I will send you the kit, all the die cuts, paper, everything that you need. You're also gonna get a whole pack of this paper so that you can make even more cards. And you're going to get, I forget, what else? <laughs> you're gonna get some, no, kitty bugs? I can't remember. It's been, it's been a minute since I wrote it all up. But you're gonna get um, the ribbon, both yards of this ribbon and this ribbon, and lots of goodies. Anyways, click on the link here on, actually not here. Well, it will be here when I'm done. I'll put it in the description on my blog, on today's PDF, um, and go to that post. You have to email me for this link. I can't list it on um, anywhere because Stampin' Up! rules say I can't, but I can email it to you. So email me. Also, it went out in my email newsletter this morning. The link is in there. So if you are on my newsletter email list, um, you got it. It's in your inbox, Okay. Okie dokie, let's see, that'll be the last time I show you that. Um, Pansy Patch, this is that paper I was just showing you. This is Club Create for next month, if you would like to join Club Create. It's $39 a month. You get five make and takes and $20 in product, um, and a video and a PDF. So this is what um, we're doing in May. So if you are interested in this cute Pansy Patch bundle, you also have the opportunity to add that on and I will pay the tax and shipping for you on that. Um, again, link is here. It's also at the very top of my blog. There's a tab that says Club Creates. So you guys can click on that. There's a subscription link there that you can um, sign up for. All right, moving right along. Um, this is the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. It has 12 video tutorials and it is free with a $50 or more purchase in my online store. I send them out about once a week and uh, as a thank you, if you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you're not ordering from me, you can still buy this in my PDF store for $15. These are all designed by 12 different um, demonstrators across the world, 
me, and then um, a bunch of other amazing Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Um, we are the original PDF bundle group. Kylie Bertucci started this, and I was lucky enough to get in on it in the beginning, and it has just been so much fun. It's such a nice resource, and I love to give it to you guys for free. So look for that. Make sure if you want it that you bump your order up to $50 before tax and shipping. All right. Oh, phew. Catch my breath. How about some door prizes? All right, last week I picked two winners and they're both getting two stamp sets, Karen Lopez and Anita Llewellyn. Anita, I don't know if I wrote your name right because I was in a hurry. Llewellyn, Anita Llewellyn. Um, Karen, I think I have your mailing address. I'm not sure. If you both would message me your mailing address so that I can get these out to you. They are getting borders to backgrounds and happiest of birthdays. I really appreciate you guys sharing my video. It definitely helps my business. This week, I have got two bundles. Celebrate Sunflowers. It's a good one. And Delicate Petals. They both have dyes. Um, if you share and you'd like to be entered to win these, make a comment that you've shared and which one you want. Okay? Because I know some of you may already have this or you may already have this. So comment whichever one you'd want and I will be looking for it next week. Let's see. Next week... So next week is a weird time, right? It's the Friday before the new catalog comes out. And usually I take that Friday off, but I think we're going to have Facebook Friday next week. I think, I think we're going to do the shark frenzy. Is that what it's called? I'm, I just have had the hardest time deciding. Do I want to do retiring stuff? Do I want to do new in colors? Do I want to do something in the spring catalog? I could not nail it down. So I think it's going to be the shark. I'm not sure, but right now that's what's sitting out we'll see all right if you've never joined me for facebook friday before i pick a bundle usually um and i make three projects with it this week it is the i almost said it <laughs> the friendly flamingo um this is in the spring catalog it's one of our distinctive stamps which i'll show you in a minute um it's this cool invention by stamping up they've designed this way to make photopolymer stamps so that they have all this detail but the stamp is totally flat it's it's amazing so we're going to do that it has matching dyes um if you want to go over to pinkbuckaroo.com you will find this link this pdf linked under the third photo down at the bottom um it has all the products that i use in case you're wondering as well as any measurements you need will be down at the bottom as well. And that's free, okay? You don't have to pay for that. That is absolutely free to you guys. And everything that we talked about is right here too, all the links if you need them. So pinkbucker.com, I'll update the video today after I finish with all the links that you need. Now, if you would like today's make and takes, I will mail it to you for free with a, with a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight. I get up Tuesday morning and I make a list of who I'll put their orders in and I start cutting. First thing Tuesday morning, I spend all Tuesday morning working on that. So if you would like those mailed to you next Wednesday, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight and that it uses this host code. The host code is very important because if you don't use the host code, I think you don't want the make and takes, okay? So you have to use the host code unless your order is what? Do you guys know? No, I know you know. Over $150 because when you hit $150, you get free stamp and rewards. And I want you to get those, okay? And I will still send you the make and takes even if your order is over $150 and you don't use the host code. But if it's under $150 and you don't use the host code, I will think you don't want them. When you guys check out, there has been some weird glitches on the Stampin' Up! website where it's changing demonstrators when you order at the very end. Make sure that you see my picture, my name, when you're checking out. I think it's a link through something else, and I don't think it's the links I'm using, hopefully. But as you're checking out, just verify, make sure. If you want the make and takes, you gotta make sure that your order is through me. If for some reason, it does glitch and it you're done and it says somebody else the only way to fix that is for you to call stamping up it's weird i don't know why they haven't fixed it um but 
it's a problem if you order and you want free stuff and then you realize the order didn't go to the demonstrator who's offering the free stuff, right? Anyhow, this is what they look like, the make and takes when they come to you. I make you a little thank you tag. You will need the bundle. I don't do any stamping. That's against the rules. Um, but I do get, send you a little thank you tag. Um, I send you everything else you need. And you'll need ink and adhesive, obviously, too. And this is what they look like. All right. I think we're ready to stamp. Let me get a little drink. A little Diet Coke. All right. We're going to start. Now, I have been teasing you guys that I have a special, very special treat that I found, right? Um, and I'm saving it for the last, for the end, for the last project, because it, I'm so excited to show it to you. <laughs> but I'm going to make it, you wait. All right, we're going to start with a really kind of a basic, simple card. Um, we're going to do a lot of stamping. This die set has two flamingos this one is for the stamped flamingo and then this one we'll use in our last project this is for just cardstock when you don't want to stamp um which is kind of a nice you know sometimes you're like oh i just want to make it i want to do all the stamping get everything out you can just die cut it from um you know your white cardstock now sometimes see here's our this is the um distinctive i don't know if you guys can see the etching in there um, but it's completely flat. You can't feel any of it. Um, when you have a large photopolymer stamp and you stamp it on the table, sometimes right in the middle, there's like a bubble and it won't push all the way down. This happens to me on this table, but it never happens to me over on my counter where I work. So it just depends on your table. And I don't know why, because this is pretty solid, but this one in particular does that to me over here. So to solve that problem, it's a simple fix. You put a foam pad down. This is the foam pad out of my um, Stamparatus. Um, you can also get, you know, those craft foam sheets from the craft store for like 99 cents. That will work as well. And if you have a piercing mat, that will work too. Okay, we're going to stamp. Let's see, did I put all the ink pads back correctly? I did not. Let me grab this one. The pink I decided to go with is Magenta Madness. We have some great pinks. And you know what? I'm going to show you right now. Polished pink. And let's go ahead and get Flirty Flamingo too. So this is Magenta Madness. This is a in color that's carrying over, right? It was new last summer. And it'll carry over. And it'll, it'll they last two years. So we have another year with this, Magenta Madness. Melon Mambo is the pink that we've had forever that everybody loves. It's a really good pink. Um, then this is the new polished pink. It is more in my mind when I look at it, more, looks more like Flirty Flamingo. But when you put Flirty Flamingo up next to it, then it doesn't. It's like a Barbie pink, I think, like a, you know, like a bubblegum pink. It is a really, really good pink. So this is polished pink and it will be available beginning May 5th. So you can see wide variety of <laughs> different things there with the pinks. Um, you know, I always think these look the same, but they don't. When you stamp them, this one is much more like, well, like bright um, magenta madness. But anyway, so that's the pink family. And I, you guys know I love my pink. Okay, we're gonna start with our flamingo and we're gonna actually stamp it twice because I'm gonna cut it out the whole thing. And then I'm going to take this die right here and cut out a wing. So really, I just need to ink this part up. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to do this. And I don't know what to call this, this image. What do you guys call this? The plants, the foliage, the flower arrangement. I don't know. This stamp right here, the plants. We're gonna stamp those, the tropical plants. We're gonna do Granny Apple Green. That Granny Apple Green and Magenta Madness are the color scheme. Let's see, I'm gonna put these right here. The color scheme I chose for all three projects today. All right, now we're gonna do three flowers in Daffodil Delight. And lucky for us, this stamp set came with three flower dies which is nice because then you don't have to run it through three times. You can run it through one time and use all three of your dies. You guys, I'm not seeing any comments. 
Are you guys saying stuff? Because I'm not seeing it. Let's see. Maybe I should close and come back in. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay, there. Now I see your comments. Weird. Who knows? Why can't they fix the glitches? Okay. Let's bring the cut and emboss machine over. Now, one thing I noticed today when I was making my clean recordings, hopefully they're all linked up under the photos in the blog post that is up. Um, one thing I found today is that the flower dyes want to move around. And that's a problem <laughs> because when you cut them out, then they're wrong. So I'm just going to put that right there in the middle like that. So I think maybe we will try to stick it down, stick them down with a post-it note. Well, you guys can't really see, can you? These little flowers right here. And you have to turn, turn, turn the die until you get it in the right place because they are not symmetrical. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh, come on. Where is it? Where is it? As soon as you get it, you'll know. Good grief. I put it down here in the corner. You know what? Let's run these through and then I'm going to move it up because it's so far down in that corner, I cannot even get it. Okay carefully lay it down <laughs> we need our magnetic plate don't we this one for sure we need our magnetic plate <sighs> all right so let's take these off okay there's that funny little wing right there we're gonna put it like that and I'm gonna flip this over so that it's more flat because it's starting to bow a little bit. And let's get these flowers and cut off all that extra. And let's see if we can get these dies to line up. So tomorrow my kids don't have school. It's supposed to be the Fiesta holiday. Why can't I get these to line up? There we go. Um, it's supposed to be Fiesta holiday. Fiesta is like a big party in San Antonio. Um, and of course, because of the C word, they've canceled it for the second year in a row. It's actually postponed to June, which I can't even see that that's going to happen still. I don't know. Um, but the kids still have the day off. So my youngest, when she is here, she goes in and out, in and out, in and out that door, in and out constantly. Drives me crazy. And so I knew, okay, we're going to do Facebook Friday on Thursday. I'm taking some post-it tape right here. This is linked. I have some Amazon links at the top of my blog, the stuff that I use all the time. You can click that tab at the top, and this is one of the things listed, maybe the first thing. Let's see. Okay, stick them down. Hopefully they stayed in place. All right, let's run it through. She is 12 and still plays outside all day long. All day. As soon as she gets home from school, she runs upstairs, puts her shorts on, and goes outside to play. It's awesome. My other girls were not like that at all. My oldest is actually home today with a stomach bug. She was sick all night, and she was kind of freaking out, and I realized I can't even remember the last time she was sick. She never gets sick. So she's home. And uh, <laughs> I was having sympathy queasiness this morning. Do you guys do that? When your kid or your husband or whoever is sick, then suddenly you feel like you're feeling sick. <laughs> That's how I was feeling this morning. But then I ate some toast and I was fine. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. None of us get it. Okay, back to our card. Now we've got all our pieces cut out. I've got a piece of basic white and I think I cut it a little bit short because it's not centered on the other card on the directions I put three and a half it needs to be three and three fourths wide okay so make your your piece three and three fourths by five and a fourth now we need our grid paper hey and guess what the blending brushes are back in stock right hopefully <laughs> they were yesterday hopefully they're still there oh finally 
Oh no, Crystal, your, your son has a stomach bug too. You totally had sympathy sickness, right? And the funny thing, and you went to Target and you were fine. Of course, Target makes everything better. The funny thing is, is that my husband is the one that deals with throw ups and not me. I mean, like, you know, we have our, <laughs> our jobs and he's out of town. I was like, oh, I can't, sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> I'll bring you some crackers. Okay, I run it, I'm running it off on my grid paper, right? Coastal Cabana. And then I'm just gonna come here and go in a circle. I don't want a real dark, just kind of a light blue in the background. I bought something for my blending brushes. Do you guys wanna see it? We talked about this last week. I was so excited about it, but it's not quite right. Let me show you. I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw this. Isn't it cute? But it's kind of too big. And they still are going to touch each other, I think. Somebody sent me an email, an awesome email of a, there's a, you should, you guys should Google, if you want to make something, Google stamp and blends holder. Somebody has made little, little boxes with cardstock and then taped them all together and they're all, it was super cute. But I kind of want something like that decoration so it can sit out and look cute. Anyhow, it, it's cute. It'll do okay for now, but it's not exactly what I want. Okay, Crystal, yeah, I know. And she was, she was trying to give me details of what happened upstairs in her bathroom. And I was like, no, thank you. She's 18. She can handle it. Okay, <laughs> this is like the water that he's standing in, right? So we're gonna view that, Coastal Cabana. And before we put, start putting things on, oh, Carol, that's a great idea. She says, put rice or dry beans to make them stand up. I'm gonna totally do that. Why didn't I think of that, Carol? Excellent idea. And Carla says, I need more brushes. Yes, I do. And they are in stock and you're right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some. Okay, um, this is light Bermuda Bay. I'm gonna do some flicks because, you know, I love doing that, okay? And you know what we need? No, we're gonna we're gonna put all this down first, and then we will um, we will stamp the sentiment last. All right, so our foliage is gonna go right there, and I did it flat. So then I'm gonna take my flamingo. Oh, I can't get them picked up. There we go. And we need many dimensionals. We're gonna need many dimensionals a lot today. Let's see if they were out just a minute ago. Here they are. I'm gonna put, actually we could use a, a full dimension on this wing. And you know, guys, I thought that the wing should go like that. Maybe it should, but then it looks fine like that too. I don't know, I can't decide. But if you want it to go like that, then you have to turn over your cardstock like this and put the die down on the back. I think that's what I did, didn't I? No, maybe not. I don't know. I feel like, what do you guys think? Down or up? It's going up, but which way is it supposed to go? I don't know. Oh yeah, Mary says, not sure I do that with her puppy. Yeah, she's very food motivated. You're right. I'll keep it way up on the counter. She can't get it. That's funny. Okay, so I did put the wing on with the dimensional. Janet, you think up? When I put up, it looks right, but when I put down, it looks right too. My first, my first instinct was to put the wing down. Patricia, you think up too? Okay, maybe it's just me. I guess they would have designed it differently if it was supposed to be down, right? Because they don't really want us flipping the paper over to have to do it that way. All right, a couple, couple of mini dimensionals. And we're gonna put that right there, okay? And then we need our sentiment. Oh, Terry says down. Janet says up. I don't know. Either way. Now I'm going to stamp your outstanding there in Coastal Cabana. Don't those colors look good together? Okay, now I have cut a piece of a rainbow glimmer paper. I haven't used this since last summer. I, and I forgot about it. I don't want this. I want this. And I was... I don't know what I was thinking, maybe because there's new, all kinds of new funky papers in the new catalog. And I was like, oh yeah, it's carrying over too. So I cut a strip of it from the green part, which is also granny apple green. 
And we're just gonna put it like that. And then we'll put it on our card base. This is a pretty simple card. You don't need a lot of stuff. You know, it's a card base, a full sheet, I mean a quarter sheet, a strip of glimmer, and then some white to do your stamping. Now, last but not least, let's add some sequins because a flamingo is fancy, right? And it needs flamingos. If I can find my take your pick tool with the, hmm. It must be on one of my trays. I couldn't find it earlier. All right, we're just gonna add a couple of these. Let's see, these sequins have a name and I can't think of it. Let me look at my paper. This is why I typed PDF, it's for me. <laughs> so I can remember the names. These are the Artistry Bloom um, sequins and they are also carrying over. Mm, okay, and we're done. Cute. I love that flamingo and I love that color combination. Don't you guys love it? Okay, moving on. Let's make our second card. Our second card's a little more layered. Oh, hello. You guys didn't even tell me. Sarah's like, hello. You didn't put the flowers on after I went through all that work to get them lined up. Yes, Heather, thank you. Sorry, flowers. I'm putting the flowers with many dimensionals. Remember I said we need lots of many dimensionals. And they don't necessarily completely match these flowers here, but we're gonna cover them up so it doesn't matter. Okay. And right there. I don't want that in front. I want that on top. There we go. Ta-da, now we're done. <laughs> All right. Let's move. I like that that saying, you're outstanding, you know, because he's standing on one leg. It's very clever. All right, let's move this out of the way and get our next tray. Now, the next one I brought in. Hi, Pep Pep, I see you. You got finished with your treat. She's looking at me, she thinks I'm talking to her. Now, this next card is like, I don't know, it reminds me of cocktails on the beach, right? And I think this would be a great card for like your girlfriend, you know, like somebody you hang out with, maybe wine night, somebody just fun. Um, it's bright, it's busy, and it has a cocktail. So that's what we're going to do. I am using several things. Um, this bundle is called Nothing's Better Than, and we're using the drink and the dye, of course. This the, the stamps and the die are carrying over to the new catalog, but you will lose the bundle discount in the new catalog. So if you've been wanting this, get it before this catalog goes out because you save 10% when you buy the bundle. But they are carrying over, just not with the bundle price. Then I'm using these dies, smooth sailing dies. I totally thought that these were retiring. Somebody help me. Are they retiring? Because I don't think they are. I actually pulled them out of my retired box, but when I was typing things up, the website didn't say they were retiring. Somebody verify that for me. I love this die set, and I did not want it to, re to retire. Now this is a sneak peek. We used these last week. These are the scallop contour dies, and I'm gonna use this one right here, okay? All right, let's see. We are gonna start by making our own pattern paper. They're in the new catalog, yes! Thank you, Leah. I totally went to the garage today to pull them out of my retired box. That makes me so happy. I don't know why I thought it was retiring. Okay, I am gonna put my foam pad down on my, under my grid paper, because I don't wanna get ink on my grid paper. So I'm just gonna make sure I am all lined up. So Granny Apple Green again, Granny Apple Green ink. And I'm gonna start just right in the middle and then I'm gonna go out from there. You don't want them to be like in a line. So you wanna kind of vary it each time you stamp. So some will be off and some will be centered. Okay, and just work your way down. They don't have to be perfect. Most of it's gonna be covered up. OK. 
Okay, now up here, I want to get up here too, but I don't want to get on the back of the card, so I gotta fold that and do one right there and one right there. Okay, not fun. Look at all that detail in that stamp. Lots of detail. Okay, now Magenta Madness and the same flower that I forgot last time. We're gonna clean it. I bought new um, chamois and I don't wanna use them because they're so pretty. <laughs> they're so clean. I know that's dumb. All right, let's start in the middle. I'm gonna go out from the middle like that. And you know, if you wanna just do it, boop, 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 all over the place, go for it. Who cares? It doesn't need to be like this. It can be, you know, random, whatever. And I'm getting mine too close, really, because we don't need that many. So I'm just gonna do this all the way up. And they're not, they aren't, they aren't perfect for sure. I just want to make sure that it looks like patterned paper, you know? All right, all the way down. Denise, you're the lucky one today that says Denise Allen is watching. Denise Allen is watching. Yes. Isn't that funny? It picks you every time. I don't know why. It knows. It knows we're friends. All right, there we go. I saw your comment last week. Just to let you know I'm watching. <laughs> yes, for sure. Oh, I need that paper. Come back. Now, we're going to stamp the flamingo this time. We're not going to cut them out. We're just going to do them flat. We're going to do... No, I think it's a her, not a him. We're going to do her on this scallop um, rectangle, <laughs> Denise. Facebook is weird, Crystal. You're right. I don't know what his problem is. This time, I'm going to stamp off because he's real bright and bold. And I really just kind of want him... Oh, and I did not... Let's see if we can do it without the foam mat. I did not want him to be like... You know, so I wanted him to be kind of light. All right, so just get him on there. Oh, look, that didn't stamp well. Let's see, am I going to cover it up? Nope. Let's do it again and get the foam mat. Erica, do it the right way. You know, every time I try to take a shortcut, it never works out. All right, take two. Over here and over here. There we go, much better. I've gotta do things right. It pays to do things the right way. Okay, we're done with the flamingo. Um, we're gonna stamp the sentiment on here, but we also need to make our cocktail. Now, this morning, while I was making my clean recordings, I was thinking, what kind of cocktail is this? You know, here in San Antonio, margaritas are the thing. And one of my very favorite is a prickly pear margarita. And it is pink, like this. But it wouldn't come in a glass like this. I guess maybe it could be. What other cocktails could it be? Does anybody know? This is like a pina colada cup. Maybe it's a pink pina colada. Well, it has a lime on the side. Pina coladas wouldn't have a lime. So it must be a margarita. <laughs> Maybe they ran out of margarita glasses. Uh-oh, Irene says Facebook is frozen, but y'all are okay. Mai Tai, Julie? Mm, Julia, maybe a Mai Tai? You know, I think I've had a Mai Tai. I can't really remember. Now I'm taking the dark and I'm going down like this. Mai Tai, okay, all right. I'm gonna have to look, look up what's in a Mai Tai. I've seen them many times on the menu, but I always go for what I know. I don't know, I, I feel like I've had one. Strawberry daiquiri, yes, that is good, that's good. I bet strawberry daiquiri. Would that have a lime though? Do you know that we have a place here in town now that is a drive-through, we actually have two, a drive-through daiquiri place. You can go and drive through and get a big tall daiquiri. I think that is bizarre. I mean, you better wait till you get home to drink that. 
I mean, I kind of like the idea if you're not driving. Crazy. Okay, last but not least, Daffodil Delight on the umbrella. And then I thought, you know, this drink would be sparkly. We would be all, you know, in a good mood while we're drinking it. So let's make it glittery. All right, we're going to do some Wink of Stella. Wink of Stella is your go-to if you want some glittery shimmer without the mess. Um, Lisa says, orange juice, rum, and grenadine. Is that what's in a Mai Tai? Or are you, that's a different drink. It does sound good. <laughs> Kimberly, I got your attention. It's off Calabra. There's one on Calabra, and I think the other one's on Petrinko. I know. Drive through Bakery Place. I see people talking about it. I'm on a, somehow I got on a mom's group over there in that area. And I thought about leaving, but I really kind of like to see what they're saying. You learn all kinds of stuff. And that's where I saw it. All right. I'm going to stamp this. Hope your day is a, as amazing as you are. This is a tailored tag. All right, my favorite, tailored tag. Let's cut out. Let's bring this guy over. Cut out our Mai Tai. <laughs> Lisa, your daughter learned how to make Mai Tais for her 21st birthday. That's funny. Yeah, Karen, I bet they're plentiful in Louisiana. I think that's the only time I've drank, I've had a daiquiri is in <laughs> Louisiana. All right, where's my, over here is the margaritas for sure. Prickly pear margarita is my go-to if they have it. So delicious. But so many calories. Why, why does it have to have so many calories? Okay. Get this through. You know, Lisa, how is that when your daughter turns 21 and you see them start doing all that drinking? Is that make you nervous? I've thought about that. I don't know. I'm such a control freak with my, <laughs> you know, like, do as I say, do what I say. And I just, I don't know if I'll be able to let go of that. I guess when they're 21, they're 21. Okay, we're going to put this on with dimensionals. You think, Peggy, they'll have Mai Tais in Maui? The best is at Monkey Pod Kitchen. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. And they make awesome coconut cream pie. Okay, I am putting that top of my list. That sounds amazing. All right, I am going to turn this like that so it's a little wonky. And then we will put this guy a little bit straighter. Elizabeth, um, my favorite place over here off Scenic Loop, it's, um, hello, La Hacienda. And I know they have another one over, oh, like on the Northeast side, La Hacienda. It's part of the Los Barrios family of restaurants, I believe. I've seen them other places, but that's my favorite. That's where we go. It's close. My ties in Maui, Amy. Hey, Amy. I know. I'm trying not to get excited because you guys, if you don't know, here, I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. This is Granny Apple Green from those set sailing, whatever, sailing dies <laughs> that I thought were retiring. Um, in order to go to Hawaii right now, even if you're fully vaccinated, you have to have a negative COVID test within 72 hours of your last leg, of your last, you know, flight. And, and remember, they're like several hours that way. And it can't just be any test. They're very particular about what test you have. So then you hopefully you download the app. They, they hopefully send you the test results in time. You know, that's all stressful. And then now they're saying when you get to Maui, you have to test again. I'm, I know I'm, I'm not complaining, but it's stressful. I mean, you know, travel is stressful anyways. I am a very nervous traveler, but to throw that in, because if you get there and for some reason you have a positive test, they're going to put you back on the plane <laughs> at your own expense. Oh, scary. Okay, putting that on, I'm, I'm going to think positively, but I'm also, Amy, not thinking a whole lot about it. You know, like, I'm not going to let myself, you know, get too <laughs> excited. I am fully vaccinated, woo, woo, but you never know, right? That was my daughter's first question this morning. Do I have COVID? 
I said, no, you have a stomach bug, child. This is classic stomach bug. All right, this is silver foil. You know, this is retiring silver foil. I can't even believe it. Is it sold out? Has anybody noticed yet? I feel like that's one of those things that's going to go fast. I'm going to do it kind of to the side. I know, Amy, I saw that you're going to quarantine for two weeks, and, and we did talk about that too. But my kids go to school, so, you know, I don't know. I'd have to <laughs> quarantine away from my kids. I don't know. Well, fingers crossed. Say lots of prayers. And... It is what it is, right? I mean, at least we're going to Maui, my goodness. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Linda. I'm in the summer mode, if you guys can't tell. Definitely thinking of towards Hawaii. How many days, Amy? Like 23? It's very close. Okay. And there we go. Hope you, hoping your day is as amazing as you are. And I put a little linen thread bow. It's kind of wild, but it's fun, isn't it? With that shimmery uh, Mai Tai. <laughs> okay, good. Now, one more left, and it's the surprise. Now, Lisa, I'm surprised you haven't seen this because you usually are the candy, like, like you see the candy first. Whatever's out, you post a picture of it first. Maybe you have seen it, but this was at Walmart and I had taken my daughter to get her vaccine and so while she was sitting there waiting you know you have to wait for 15 minutes I said I'm gonna go you know look for some stuff and I walked by just this candy thing in the middle of the aisle and there were these key lime pie Kit Kats I mean okay yes please <laughs> I love lemon and lime and I love key lime pie. So absolutely. Now I bought an extra one so we could open it and see what it looks like. Cause I was wondering, Oh, it is green. Look, it's totally green. So now I have also linked on my blog today to where they are in Amazon. If you need to look and see it's white on the inside. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Yes. Now some of you are not going to like it. Because it tastes just like lime. And I'll tell you that I bought it. The lemon Kit Kats for Easter and put them in the kids' eggs. Because I love those. And they, none of them would eat it. Even my mom said it tasted like cleaning chemicals. <laughs> so I may have a different taste palette. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it's a fun summer treat, right? <laughs> Anna, I want this at now, right? As soon as you see a treat that goes well, my thoughts are whip up like five or six of these, put them in your desk drawer at work. And whenever anybody has a birthday this summer, you give them this, right? And it's cute. And it looks like you were thinking of them and it's summery. All right, let's get started. Um, we are going to start with our Granny Apple Green. Um, where did I put my Simply Score? Here it is. And this is not quite a full sheet. It's eight and a fourth by 11. Um, Carla, yeah, I like all those too. My kids were like, ew. They literally, from their candy from Easter, put them all together and that's, it was all the lemon ones. And I was like, well, I'm glad I paid money for those. Now I guess I'll have to eat them all. No, I didn't. Um, I wanted to... Don't, don't ask me what happened to the strawberry uh, Hershey Kisses that I bought, because those are really good. Um, this is eight and a fourth by 11. Now these measurements are right here on this PDF, so don't feel like you have to scribble them down, okay? Yeah, Crystal, the raspberry ones. I think those were out maybe at Valentine's Day. Um, Lisa, a coffee Kit Kat. Uh-uh, is that new? I haven't seen that. I bought my daughter, my middle daughter, a Kit Kat variety pack for her birthday from Etsy. And I thought that they were all the Japanese Kit Kats because she's into Japan. Um, but when they came, they were, you know, like some of those. Um, but they had some of the Japanese ones in there. She, she thought it was cool. All right, eight and a fourth by 11. The short side, two and a fourth, two and three fourths, five and a half, and six. Now turn it to the long side and we're going to do three, three and a half, seven and a half, and eight. 
Oh, well, hey, good. I'm glad you caught us, Patrick Annette. Checking in from Alaska. Oh, Alaska. Wow, that's a long way away. All right, now for this, I really want to use my other scissors. Here, there. We're going to do a lot of cutting. Um, these squares right here, we're going to cut all of this off except for that tiny little square right there. Okay, so it does take a little bit of time. My scissors are all gunked up. So just, you know, take your time so that your sides are straight. What do you guys feel about next week's Facebook Friday? Sharks? Um, retiring stuff? Like a whole, like just hodgepodge of retiring stuff? You know, I get to a point where I'm, you know, like my bucket is empty. You know, I've seen something so much I can't, I can't think of anything else to make with it. Some of the, some of the things are like that for me. Um, the shark is cute. Sarah, you like the sharks? Um, I don't know. I, I like the sharks. I know it's not going to appeal to everybody. And the sentiments on the shark um, stamp scent are definitely not going to be for everybody. But those sharks are cute. And there's little, um, they have little like a hat and a tie and a bow and then all the bubbles, they're super cute. Father's Day, Jessica, yeah, that's coming up. I actually thought about Mother's Day, too. Um, hodgepodge of retiring, Catherine. Um, Kimberly, you think sharks? Sneak peeks? Oh, you guys are all over the place. Succulent set, please. Elizabeth, I'm having trouble with that one. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know if I could do that one. I love succulents. But that one is hard for me. Okay, now, once you've done that, see so you've got the little squares like this, I'm gonna take my scissors and just snip on two sides, okay? Snip and snip. Like that, so that those fold in. Now, before we put this together, let's see, I'm gonna show you how it goes together because we're gonna stamp some palm trees on the top flap, but one of them has to be upside down because you are folding it up. So we have to kind of take a look and see which one it is. Sharks cute, let's see, sneak peeks, retired last chance, you guys, maybe I should just do a little bit of all of that. I'm having a hard time. And I have packed all my retired stuff. You guys know when it's retired, when it's when it's not, when when it's been announced as retired, like literally it is dead to me. <laughs> I have a hard time even looking at it. And as far as sneak peeks, I feel like we didn't get a whole lot of, of pre-order stuff that is my style. Does that make sense? Um, and then I also have to think about the next Friday because the next Friday is only three days after the new catalog goes live. So what am I gonna use that Friday? If I put in an order on Tuesday, and even if I overnight it, it'll be here Wednesday. I don't know if I can, I like to give myself a lot of time. Maybe, we'll see. Do you see where my brain is? Like literally I've been kind of like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Okay, so this folds up like this. You're gonna, um, you know, these go in, this goes like this, and then these fold over like this. So we're gonna stamp the palm tree here and here. So this one, it'll look like it's upside down. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get our granny apple. I pulled the palm tree from Timeless Tropical. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use, let's use this. Oh, I did it last time too. I'm gonna put that there so that I don't stamp on anything else. Now, really, you're only going to see the top and the very bottom of the other one. Don't really worry so much about the middle. Now, this one, let's make sure, okay? Now, this one needs to go like this. So I guess it just depends on which way you turn it. It 
always feels like it's not. That doesn't make sense. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, yes, that's right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let's do that. And one right there. And let's just do one peeking right there. Okay, so like that. Flamingo bundle, you just bought it. Good, I'm glad. Plenty of time for the new stuff. That's true, Brenda. Yeah, you know, Peggy, the sharks, I feel like have potential. I think at first look, they're kind of like, mm, and I think it's the, the words that go with them. Maybe doesn't appeal to everyone, you know? Let me get my tear and tape over here. Well, I thought I had some tear and tape. All right, maybe I need to get a new one. Do I have a new one? Oh, I need to do some major cleaning and organizing. Am I completely out of tear and tape? My goodness. What in the world? Okay. I know I have a roll left somewhere. Aha, no, that's not it. I'm sorry, I'm making you guys wait. I really wanted to use tear and tape because I used liquid glue and it took a long time for me to do it because it takes forever to dry. We'll use, no, we'll use tear, I mean, stamp and seal plus. I haven't used this in a long time. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, you're gonna flip these in like this and fold it up. I'm trying to fold these out so you can see, okay? It's gonna go into those sides right there. <laughs> Thanks, Crystal. If anybody can make the sharks cute, it's you. Now the pressure is really on. And as Kathy says, Mother's Day, a cherry cola Kit Kat. What? Oh my gosh. Lisa, you're like the all-knowing of candy. You know all of the things. All right, fold these up and press them in and that's what it looks like, okay? You see that? Now, let's get our Kit Kat and put it right in there. Now, I didn't put this on the PDF um, because it's kind of a last minute addition this morning. I decided we needed to put some white right here so that you can kind of write like a little sentiment or something. So since we have, you could stamp the flamingo or you can just use this because it's out, right? I'm just gonna stamp that there in the corner. And then you can write, you know, like, happy birthday, blah, 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 whatever. Um, Key Lime Kit Kat Debbie at Walmart, the one on 1560. I'm sure they have them at all Walmarts, but it was um, 1560. I walked right by it and I was like, stop, <laughs> I need that Kit Kat. All right, so there we go. So we're gonna fold in these first and then this and this like that, okay? Now to hold it closed, we're gonna make a belly band. This is the Granny Apple Green Designer Series paper and I've cut two one and a half inch strips and really you don't need them to be six inches long. You need them both to be about four inches, um, but I'm just gonna trim them as we go. And a belly band holds it together, but it slides off. It's not glued or stuck to the box. It slides, okay? So let's cut off some extra. And you can pinch it to match the sides. You want it tight enough that it's gonna hold, but not so tight that it can't slide. Okay, match those up like that, and we will trim off that excess. All right, so there. Now, the Magenta Madness ribbon. Has anybody checked on this ribbon? I hope it's not sold out. I think I have enough for our make and takes, but I may need to order one more and I'm nervous. If it's sold out, I may have to substitute something like white. Or I may have an extra bolt. All right, there we go. So we, we tied that on and it's gonna slide on and off with that. See how that slides? Okay. All right, let's get to the flamingo. What time is it? Oh, it's late. All right, now we're gonna cut the flamingo out. Last time we stamped it, this time we were just cutting it. 
Remember I said this one cuts out the stamped image and this one is just for cardstock. There's also this one that has the little wing that has some texture in it. So we're gonna use that. Um, we're also going to, right here, stamp our sentiment. And I'm using this die a bunch. I think I've used it the last three weeks for Facebook Live. Um, happy birthday. And we're gonna use, I love all these skinny ones. We're gonna use this one right here, okay? All right, let's slide this guy back in. And we'll do this one first. <laughs> Y'all are funny. I'm glad I'm en enabling you. The Flamingo's good. It's a really good set. Really good. Okay. Roll that through there. That always makes so much noise. Okay, we've got that. And then we'll do our flamingo. And then we're almost done. <laughs> Lisa, I know, but do you have flamingo dies? I don't know. These are pretty good dies. Pretty good. All right, let's get this off, roll this over. Hey guys, do it, does a flamingo, what color is a flamingo's beak? Do you know? Because I saw a card recently, in the last day or two, where they colored the beak black. And then I was like, uh-oh, do I need to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think it was black. Is it black? I don't know. Somebody look up a, a, a um, flamingo and tell me. Black, Robin, it is? So I, oops, that's too skinny. So I need to, um, so I need to color it. Black, is it? Okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't mean to do this with dimensionals. Hold, please. <laughs> What's it look like on the emoji crystal? It doesn't have a black beak on the emoji, does it? Pink and black, Lisa says. Hmm. All right, well, you can color your flamingo's beak with your Stampin' Write marker or your Stampin' Blend. I'm gonna take our Stampin', this is the only Stampin' Write marker you can buy as a single, and I'm gonna color in the eye. Now, you could color the beak, but I'm not gonna do that. I already glued it, and then it, I'm sure I would make a mess of it. Probably do that before you attach it. All right, wing. Now, this wing is down, right? No, it goes down. I don't know. I think maybe it goes both ways. <laughs> oh, the dilemma. I keep hearing some, okay, something in the living room is making a weird noise. Do you guys hear it? It's like chimes or something. Did you hear it? I don't know what that is. I don't recognize that sound. It's probably the refrigerator making, our refrigerator's acting weird. Okay, we're almost done. Um, dimensionals on either side of the ribbon. Put our flamingo, this, um, Nathan, that was a very good description. Thank you. He says white near the face and black from about midway. Okay, so, so maybe this is a cartoon. Flamingo, and he's not perfect. He's not exactly <laughs> like a real one. Okay, who cares? They just want they just want the candy. They don't care what your bird looks like. Truly. Last but not least, I cut out this palm frond using the tropical dies. These we have a lot of tropical stuff. I didn't realize how much we had, but it's that one. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna stick a dimensional on it. Oh my gosh, what is that sound? That's a weird sound. It sounds like something's gonna explode or something in there oh no, no there it is the tip is black top is pink oh, you guys are good all right I'm gonna stick that little palm front in there and boom done look aren't they cute throw them in your desk at work lay them leave them around send them for somebody's summer birthday all right you guys we made it Woo! we made it no dogs barked in the making of these projects today Hallelujah. 
Let's see. Let me get the other two, the other one, so we can look at it. Now, remember, if you want me to send you the make and takes, your order needs to be in by Monday at midnight. And make sure you use this host code. Unless your order is over 150, don't use the host code. Make sure you go to pinkbuckaroo.com. And uh, <laughs> Mary, do you hear it? It's something in my living room. I don't know. Did it stop? I don't know. Uh, make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and grab the PDF. It did stop. I don't know what that was. Um, it's free. And you have all the dimensions. There it is again. Oh, my gosh. It's telling me to get off Facebook. <laughs> You guys have a great weekend, and I will see you next Friday with something. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do next Friday. Bye, guys.